Tutorial number 35, we're going to talk about the rib feature, or as we see it here on the right side, the rib. And the rib also is called in other software programs like Sodworks, the sweep. But in other software, they are differentiating between rib and sweep. But here we have both together. You can create rib and sweep with this feature. So I'm going to sweep a profile and also going to use it as a rib and now let's create a profile let's sketch it let's make a circle this is the profile which we are going to sweep or rib and let's choose another plane to sketch just to be sure to use choose the plane where we want to sweep the circuit now let's draw the sweep path i paid the spline and now let's it now we have the profile and we have the path let's activate the rib the profile will be the circle the center curve will be this spline and now you can see we sweep the profile and here you can specify the thick profile or merge rib ends this case we don't have any ends so I'm going to use this in the next example. So if you specify the tick, I'm going to give you the tube chip. Here we have our strip profile, tick. So you can make it like a tube. So this case is Swift. Now let's create a fast box to make a rib for it. Now let's exit, pad it. Okay, and now let's choose the same sketch where we create this pad. Sketch three, pad again thick and give it a dimension of 50 preview and we have thickness of one millimeter here okay so now we have plastic box so now let's try to make a rib for this Let's use this surface to sketch and let's use rectangle. We try to use it in the middle, exit, and let's create the drip path on this surface or in this surface they are going to work I'm using the bottom surface here we have a line you can make it the middle exit and now let's choose this file rib and this is the path 
okay so now we created a rep here so now we have two cases how to sweep and to create a rib to support plastic box or whatever so now we can know that drip you can do both of these functions